Hi friends, this is Dr. Apoor Mehra. And this is Dr. Gobind Raigar. Uh, if you remember the movie Chak De India, Shah Rukh Khan in the final match tells the team, you have 70 minutes, play the best hockey of your life. So for our students in India, the NEET exam is exactly after 90 days. They have best 90 days to play. And if they play well, they will be known throughout their life by what they wanted to do. More importantly, they'll be satisfied they gave their best shot. So friends, this video talks about how to go about in last three months. Sir. First of all, uh, we commonly keep on saying that thoda sa time aur mil jata. So you have got that extra time now. So because earlier the exam was on January, but now it is in April. So three mahine extra mile. So you need to utilize this very well. So as we already say, if you have already done these labors, already studied some subjects, do it from same place. Revise same things. Do not go for any extra thing. Do not try to do something extra because you have got extra time. Remember, the common things are asked commonly. So you need to revise again and again the same. What do you say? So sir, this is the first point that we have understood. We have 90 days. The time has to be valued but not misused. Should not be exploited. Many a times, a person is getting ready and he looks the best. But then he feels, for going to the party, I still have more time. And he keeps on putting more and more things onto his face. And finally, he spoils everything. So what they should do right now is, what source they have used, they should stick to it. They should not mix it up. So rely on the same source which you have studied till now. And then revise. What are your tips for revision, sir? So, revision, uh, we commonly say one uh, thing which is uh, almost essential is to do 100 MCQ daily, minimum 100 to 150 MCQ daily. Remember, it is an MCQ exam. So, you should be thorough with the MCQs. You should have a habit of solving MCQ in, even in your dreams. So, keep on doing 100 to 150 MCQs daily. And second thing, revise your notes which you have already made or which you have already studied. And if you have not started till now or you have not done any subject well, then you can mainly rely on the high yield subjects first. High yield subjects, uh, we all commonly say the six subjects, uh, three P's, Pharma, Path, PSM, then Ops, Gyne, Anatomy and Microbiology. So these six subjects, if you can do in little detail, they will be good. But And rest of the subjects, if you have not started, remember I'm telling only for those people who have not started yet. So rest of the subjects, you can rely on the rapid revision. But if you have already done something from somewhere, revise from same place only. Right. So, do 19 subjects. If you have completed and revising, go on the track, increase your MCQ practice. Because that is what you finally have to attempt. But if you are a person who has not done anything properly, follow the plan Sir has said. But yes, divide your schedule such that either from the rapid revision or from the main videos of the six subjects, you touch every subject properly. It should not happen that you try to do one subject more and you leave a subject. The worst you can hit your result in preparation is you do not touch all the subjects. That is why one classical thing that I always say, read what is common. It will be commonly asked and you will be through commonly. Don't fall trap to the rare thing because that will sacrifice whatever you have built on. Grand test, sir. What about grand test? 90 days, how many grand tests they should give? Around 14 to 15 weeks they have. So minimum, uh, I will say once a week. So that will make around 13 to 14 grand tests. So very important, fix a day in every week to give the grand test. And more importantly, after giving the grand test, analyze that grand test thoroughly. Analyze means whatever questions you have given by hint or whatever questions you do not know or which are wrong. So read the explanations of only those questions and make a separate notebook for grand test and write in very brief about those questions. Before going to the next grand test, you must study that register. So that when you are giving the 13th grand test, you have revised 12 times. Right. So that means the common things which you are making wrong, they will be on your tips by that time. Right. And one more thing I want to add here in analysis, see what is wrong. If what you have got wrong is from a common topic, yes. Go and read that topic again. Because there are important topic lists which are available on Preplad everywhere. That list should be thoroughly looked at. That's a checklist. There is no escape in leaving it aside. 
focus on those areas how many last year papers to be done sir three years papers basically so three years uh, you can say six papers of aims last paper of inict and then five papers behind and uh, again uh, last three years papers of uh, all india uh, which is uh, currently being conducted like neat papers or whatever before that so these should be thorough about and one thing i will add which most people do not add i will advise to do the fmg papers also right because they are interconnected yeah almost the same board doing it yeah so you are likely to get the same things you will have clinical scenarios you will have images you might have long questions but then the topics stays the same there is no change there is no variation there might be episodic in some questions but that is to see the temperament and regarding the temperament sir how to keep a positive frame of mind some advice so the positive frame most commonly comes from your known tos talk to your parents daily and talk to your good friends and keep company of good friends only do not uh, keep on making a big company just for the sake of it so it is very important to keep one or two good friends and talk to your parents daily right 3f you can change the order family friends and food if you take care of 3f's forget all the other f's in the life focus on these three f's you will not have the fourth f the failure so this is what gets you positive attitude i believe we have spoken what we always say stick to your basics keep things simple value your time tumhara time aa jayega sir definitely so stick to your plan if you have already made do not change what we are saying so that you are changing if you can stick to your plan that will be the best thing if you are not made your plan yet then stick to what we have told so you will definitely be successful we will try to make more and more videos for you we will be with you especially during the last 3 months this is mib dr apoor mehra thank you very much this is dr govindra gar thank you very much